Good morning, or depending on when you're watching this, good afternoon, good evening, or good night. My name's Ross, and as always, told out of voice the radio. So today, I am bringing back one of my very favourite series I do on this channel. One of the ones I have the most fun with. Free Pokemon cards that will never be printed again, that are gone forever. It's just a really fun series where I sit and look at cards which I am fairly sure will not come back. When I say won't come back, what I mean is, from everything we can see at the moment, there is absolutely no reason to believe they will come back. Obviously, at some point in the future, maybe we get a new design team with a new philosophy, etc. And then maybe at that point, things change. But at least the way things are at the moment, I feel pretty confident these cards are not coming back. So let's start off with the one that is definitely the hardest to talk about. It is Execute. And... The thing is, right, this is one of those ones where I usually what I can do is I can sit here and go, hey, look at all of these cards. This is basically proving this card isn't going to come back. I can't really do that with Execute because actually we don't see anything like this. Now, it had the ability Propagation once during your turn before you attack. If this Pokemon is in your discard pile, you may put this Pokemon into your hand. And it's one of those abilities where, if you're not that familiar with the game, you might look at it and go, well, I mean, it's all right, but is it really that good? But if you play the game a lot, you're going to look at that and you're going to go, holy moly, that is absolutely flat out ridiculous broken. Because make no mistake about it, this card is absolutely flat out ridiculous broken. You see, what makes it so good is that we've basically got the ruling whereby once it hits a discard pile, it's essentially now a new card. Which means that one execute can propagate over and over again. So let's take a nice easy example. Let's take Quick Ball, a very good card that is played in basically every deck at the moment. Quick Ball is a phenomenal card that lets you search out any basic Pokemon. It's really good. So they have to give it a downside. The downside they give it is that you have to discard a card from your hand. And obviously some cards want to discard so they can play from the discard. But a lot of the time this is a downside. But if you've got Execute in your discard pile, don't even worry about it. Because if you want to discard a card, do it. And if you don't want to discard a card, propagate. And if I've got four Quick Ball in hand, I can just propagate, play a Quick Ball, propagate, play a quick ball, propagate, play a quick ball, propagate, play a quick ball. With no issues whatsoever, just continually propagate to get it back. It is a very, very unique kind of card. And the thing is, we haven't seen anything like this since this came around. Now, for a little bit of context, this card came around in Plasma Freeze which is a, well, kind of a black and white two set, actually, came around in Japanese in December 2012 and English in May 2013. So you're talking around about nine years since this card came out. And in the intervening nine years, nothing. Absolutely nothing. Actually, no, that's a little bit of a lie in Plasma Blast. We did get the gold version of it. Which is, <laughs> I love the execute. Got a secret rare gold version that will never fail to amuse me. But the fact of the matter is, if we look at this kind of card and we look at the ability, this is not the kind of thing that we just see coming back around. If you go onto PKMN cards, great place to go and research Pokemon cards, and you search for this kind of ability, the only two options that come up are the execute and the secret rare version of the execute that's it that's all that comes up ladies and gentlemen now weirdly enough we do have a similar kind of thing coming up with a supporter card soon that being grant but grant says it's a supporter card that lets you do an extra 30 damage on your fighting pokemon this turn but you can if you like discard two cards from your hand and then put grant from your discard pile into your hand and it's great the thing about Execute is there's no downside to this. There's no reason why you wouldn't want to play this. And that's kind of my point here. It's too good, ladies and gentlemen. It is too gosh darned good. And it really is as simple as that. 
I wish I could give you some examples of cars that were nerfed versions of this. I wish I could give you some more proof. All I can tell you is it's a very unique ability which came around nine years ago. We've seen nothing since. It's absolutely brilliant and it feels like the kind of thing which was a little bit too good. But if you want another card where I can give you a really good reason why I'm fairly sure it's not coming back, how about Ace Roller? An Ace Roller is one of these things, right? Where it came around and everyone went, wow, that looks broken. And then we played for a while and we went, wow, that's broken. And yes. <laughs> yes, it is, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, it is. You see, what Ace Roller allows you to do is put one of your damaged Pokemon and all cards attached to it into your hand. Nice and simple. And as a side note, this did get a fancy version like Execute. This one was a full art, not a gold. And it even came around as a League Challenge promo as well that was given out for first to fourth place. It's a cool card. The thing is, Ace Roller was always a little bit too good. Because the thing we've got with Ace Roller is you can have a Pokemon. I mean, nowadays we see Pokemon, you know, take Eternatus as an example because that's one of the joint highest. We've got 340 HP. And it gives up free prizes. So the ability to heal something like that is absolutely ridiculous. Really turns the game on its head. That's what we've got. That's what Ace Roller allows you to do. Now it is only Pokemon with damage counters on, admittedly. But essentially, this is for, I've got a big Pokemon. You can't KO it. Ha 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 ha. And then you loop Ace Roller and all of that. And it's a little bit silly. The thing is, we had a very similar version to this. Very recently in Brilliant Stars, we got Cheren's Care. And Cheren's Care is the exact same card as Ace Roller, with one very important difference. It only works on colorless Pokemon. Now, this alone tells me Ace Roller isn't coming back. Because from a card design standpoint, think about it for just a moment. There is absolutely no reason whatsoever to print a nerfed version of Ace Roller if you're going to bring Ace Roller back. That doesn't make any sense. It's not the kind of thing card designers tend to do. It's not the way Pokemon tends to work. And one of the things I do when I'm making my shortlist of cards to be featured in this series is I look at what cards are being printed at the moment and I look at what Pokemon are doing and a lot of the time, they are signalling that the particular cards aren't coming back. In a previous video, I told you about Floatstone. And my reasoning for Floatstone was very simple. Floatstone was a phenomenal card, which hasn't been printed for years. And in the meantime, we got Air Balloon, which is literally a rubbish version of Floatstone. And why would they print a rubbish version of Floatstone? If they were going to bring Floatstone back, that makes no sense. What they've done is made a conscious decision to print a nerfed version of a great card. And that's what they've done with Ace Roller here. Now, this one gives me a little bit of pause for thought. Because obviously, Ace Roller is not a particularly old card. It's not a particularly new card. But Ace Roller came around in Burning Shadows. And although that's not, you know, the oldest set in the world, it's not the newest set in the world, we're talking about 2017. June in Japan, August in English. They're talking five years. And five years later, they've just printed a nerfed version of it. And I honestly do believe that tells you everything you need to know. Might we see a similar version of this for other typings? Yes, absolutely, I think we might. But the fact of the matter is, right now, I do not see any situation where Ace Roller comes back, save for a change in design philosophy, either dictated by higher-ups in the Pokemon company, or because new designers come in. And that could change everything. Sometimes, sooner or later, it hasn't happened yet, sooner or later, inevitably... As this series goes on, I'm going to make a whoopsie. I am going to feature a card in one of these videos that does get reprinted. But right now, I feel pretty good that this is not going to be the one. Or else it wouldn't be in this video. Of course, I did mention Ace Roller with something like Eternatus could end up being too good. You can make the same argument with Cherin and Arceus. 280 HP gives up two prizes. Cherin allows you to heal. Yes. 
but keeping it to one type does make it a lot more difficult to really take advantage of. So those are cards from kind of 5 and 10 years ago. Why don't we go back a long way now and finish off by having a look at Lass. One of the cards from the base set of the Pokemon trading card game. This is a card which, like I say, came out in the base set. This one ain't coming back, ladies and gentlemen. It's been a very, very long time. And I feel pretty good that Lass is done. Now, what Lass did was you and your opponent both show each other your hands, then shuffle all the trainer cards from your hand into your deck. The theory with Lass, of course, being that you play this to hurt your opponent. Essentially, you get set up. You play Lass. Your opponent can't get set up. Now, a couple of things you need to know about when Lass originally came out. Lass used to be so much worse than it looked. Because firstly, back in the very early days of the Pokemon TCG, there was no such thing as a supporter card. Last nowadays would be a supporter, but back then, supporter cards didn't exist. Everything was a trainer card. What that means is that you could play this as often as you like during your turn, along with everything else. And also... There was no restriction to what you were doing going first in terms of playing these. There was no no supporters turn one or any of that rubbish. So you could literally just like go first, play out your hand, play a last to let's just start locking your opponent. It was horrendous. Absolutely horrendous. And we've actually seen a more recent version of this kind of card. Although it, it's quite different. But it was Getsis. And Getsis done got banned. Now, gets this, your opponent reveals his or her hand and shuffles all item cards into his or her deck. And then you draw a number of cards equal to the number of item cards your opponent shuffled into his or her deck. So, it's a one-sided, your opponent shuffle their items, you don't. But also, you got to draw. And the reason gets this got bad was really simple. You could just wreck your opponent before they got rolling. Pokemon have been very clear. Cards that stop your opponent being able to play the game are not ones they want. And back when Getsis was legal, you actually had the rule whereby you could just start the game and play a supporter card turn one going first. Which is obviously a, a bit of an issue, because what you would do is you would go first, search out Getsis, play Getsis your opponent would lose all their item cards and then they would basically be done for the game and that would not be a good thing. Now, it is interesting to note that Lass is actually even worse again because like I told you, back then there was no such thing as supporter cards. So when Lass says trainer, it means trainer. It doesn't mean item cards. It means everything. And that's horrendous. Nowadays, if Lass was legal, you would see a whole bunch of decks doing this, and it would basically make your opponent get rid of all their trainer cards, and you would play it because you had something like, I mean, Genesect decks, as an example, would love this. Incidentally, I've linked it in the description, but previous videos in this series, the last one, the very most recent one other than this, I did discuss why Genesect is absolutely broken. And yes, I absolutely do imagine that in a couple years' time after it's rotated, I do imagine I will be doing a video about Genesect, i.e. it's going to feature in these videos in the future. It's too gosh darn good. But Genesect being able to shuffle all of its trainer cards back and make your opponent shuffle all of their trainer cards back and then draw until you've got six cards in your hand... That's too good, ladies and gentlemen. It is far, far, far too good. It's absolutely ridiculous. And Lass was great at the time. Lass saw play. There were absolutely decks built around Lass. A whole bunch of good players played it. Because it really could. If you got set up before your opponent, you could just play Lass and lock them out of the game pretty much from the beginning. And that was basically it. And we have had Lass back. But it was Lass's special from Fates Collide. Let you draw a card for each of your opponent's bench Pokemon. It's not the same, ladies and gentlemen. Not a terrible card. But, um, no. Not even close, ladies and gentlemen. 
not even close. Of all of the cards we're talking about today, Execute just seems really, really, really good and we've not seen anything like it. Ace Roller has had a nerfed version printed in terms of Cherin, but last is the card on this video, in this list, that is way too good and way too broken and I feel absolutely dead set confident about it ain't coming back, ladies and gentlemen. This one is done. So there we go, ladies and gentlemen. That's what we've got in terms of free cards that are not coming back. And as always, now it's over to you guys. Tell me what you think about these cards. Tell me if you believe they should be included on this list or whether any of these should be taken off. And of course, please do give me your own suggestions for cards that you think are never going to be reprinted. Because I do when I'm planning these videos. I look back through the comment sections of the previous ones. I have a look at your ideas. Some of them I take, some of them I don't. But I absolutely adore reading them. Please, please, please do keep sharing them. Go nuts in the comment section. But be nice! And then make sure you like this video, subscribe to this channel, follow me on Twitter at the Wasi, and Twitch for some live action at twitch.tv slash ptcg radio if you want to support the channel get some bonus podcasts and all that good stuff head on over to patreon.com slash ptcg radio where you can do exactly that but by far the most important thing as always look after yourselves till next time would ya thank you very much for watching my name's ross and you've been watching ptcg radio